Several weeks ago, a storm came through and blew down several of the fence panels. Now, when the builder built this fence, he didn't set most of the posts in concrete, so most of the fence was weakened and the posts were really loose. So I decided to just go ahead and replace this whole side since it was pretty old and rickety anyways. I took the panels down whole and put them on the curb for the city to pick up. With some shaking, the posts came out pretty easy. Even the ones that had concrete still came out easy. They just took a little bit more work. I laid out the new posts at 8 foot increments and I just laid down a really long tape measure and then made sure to pull it tight whenever I took my reading so that way these would actually be at 8 feet and then I dug a hole 24 to 30 inches deep for each post. I used 8 foot posts so after I set them in the ground I had around 6 feet sticking out and then I could trim them to length. To brace my corner posts, I marked a level line on the rails from the post that was already existing so that way I could cut it off and have a straight vertical line and then drill holes and screw my post into that so that way it would be braced perfectly level vertically. According to Quickcrete, you can set a fence post by pouring in a 50 pound bag of concrete, then adding a gallon of water on top, and you don't have to worry about mixing it. Gravity just kind of does its thing. But for these corner posts, I used about three bags of concrete just because the holes were that big, and I wanted to go a little overkill on strength. So I added a little bit of water before, and then used a stick just to help the water mix throughout the concrete a little bit better. Once I had my two corner posts set, I ran a string line between each of them so that way I would have a reference for each of my fence posts to make sure I set them all in a straight line. So when I started to set a fence post, I would just put it in the hole and then see where the bottom of the fence needed to, of the post needed to be inside the hole in order for it to line up with the string. Then I added the concrete and some water. After the concrete cured, it was time to add the railing to my new side of the fence. I just used the same spacing and position as the rails on the side that was already up. Not for any particular reason, it just seemed easier to do it that way. I used a clamp on my post in order to hold the rail in place while I screwed it. And then after I had all the rails up, I'd come back with my circular saw, set to the same depth as the rail, and then cut off the end flush. Now this did leave a small groove in the post, but since this is all going to be covered up by the rails and then the pickets, I really wasn't concerned. And like the rest of this project, then it was just lather, rinse, repeat. To attach the pickets to the fence, I shot two 2 inch ring shank nails into each rail with a framing nailer, and I used a level to make sure that each of the first four or so pickets were perfectly level and then I just checked every second or third picket to make sure I still stayed vertically level. Ideally the top of the pickets will follow the flow of the land so you don't want the top of your pickets to sort of stair step up and down but gradually flow with the, the land so also as you're installing your pickets you want to make sure that any elevation increase or decrease in, in the land is gradual along the top of the pickets so that way it looks like nice fair curves as opposed to steps. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least entertaining. If you did, please let me know in a comment below. If you like this, please hit that thumbs up button, and if you really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my upcoming projects. I try to post a project about once a week. Now if you really love this video and you want to support me, I recently opened a Patreon page, so you consider becoming a patron and supporting me on there. Now if that's not your thing, you can support me entirely for free just by hitting that share button and sending this video to a friend or posting it on your social media platform of choice. Thank you. What are you doing, RJ? I'm drilling. Yeah, why are you drilling? Because I need to make a hole for, for a nail. Okay. Are you trying to fix the fence? Yeah.
Yeah.